Greetings viewers and welcome to some more Path of Radiance. Today I have no idea what we're going to do because we're trying to figure out some prisoner release thing. That's the name of the chapter, so I don't know what that's going to what that's going to be about, but you know, what? let's get into some of this information, talk to some random people. I guess we can talk to a default soldier. Um hmm. You there, Bayork. What do you think you're doing? I was trying to get back to my room, but I've lost my way. Can you tell me which way I need to go? It's this way. Follow me. Hey, not so close. Walk behind me. What? Uh, pardon me. The king has ordered us to treat Bayork with kindness, but it will take some time. It is difficult to fight that instinct. Perhaps some memory of the slavery of our forefathers suffered at Bayork hands flows in our blood. I understand. I'll keep my distance. Very well. Let's go. All right. Okay, so that's just kind of showing the relationship between the two. Okay, we just recruited her. And so we put an, uh, and so we put this guy right here, and we put and this dealy bobber goes here, and we're finished. Uh, packing, huh? Want some help? Do I want some? <laughs> You're a hoot, handsome. I'm already done. You're more skillful at this than I would have ima imagined. Or is it that Mist is woefully inept? Ah, <laughs> uh, the Benyon Pegasus Knights were always moving around, so I learned to pack quickly. They used to train us, uh, train us on it all the time. Go here, pack this. Fun stuff. Is that so? I can see that you have a strong sense of duty. Queen the Benyon Pegasus Knights to join us must seem... What are you saying? I'm a burden now? Uh, no. I'm very grateful you're here. As I told you before, we're short on personnel. Oh, good then. And I'm happy to be here. Um, say Ike, you don't need to worry about me quitting the Benyon service. My decision wasn't based solely on my desire to repay you. You had other reasons? Was she fired? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm also searching for my missing brother. Okay, that's why. He may be a dolt and a scoundrel, but he's all the family I have in this world. That's right, she was looking for him in the chapter she showed up in. I thought the pirate said they killed him or like threw him up over the over the boat or something. Uh, remember when you found me when we were fighting pirates? Well, I was trying to track him down. But every time I go looking for him, I end up in some dangerous situation with ugly boat monkeys trying to kill me. Yeah, there were pirates in the chapter she got introduced as well. Heh, <laughs> so that's why you decided to join us, is it? I can understand that. So, are you sorry you asked? Not at all. The important thing is finding your brother as quickly as possible, right? That's the plan! Okay, good for you. And then Leth, okay. She seems to harbor some ill will towards the Bayork people. You seem depressed. Look at who I'm trapped with. Of course I'm depressed. And keep your worthless observations to yourself. All of you are so slow. I can't believe you're still not ready. Sorry about that. If we were like you and didn't need anything to carry, it'd be easier, but we have weapons and things to get ready. Weapons of steel are human weakness. Without them, you cannot fight properly. What do you mean? But, Leth, you're carrying a dagger, aren't you? And the scabbard on your leg? This is not for fighting. Then what's it for? I use it to remove, s <laughs> remove small bones from meat. I can also cut fruit into bite-sized pieces. It has been proven quite useful. Hmm. What? If you got something to say, spit it out! You despise Bayork, but you don't mind Bayork crafted tools? If something's good, it's good. Denying something's obvious worth out, or so, so, denying, denying something's obvious worth out of petty is spite is foolish. I don't even know what it was, I couldn't read that for some reason. It's not that I, I do not despise everything Bayork. If every Bayork could get along with us as well as you do, I'm certain. Leth? This is ridiculous conversation. I'm leaving now. <laughs> okay, and then also, there are some supports, however, I don't know if I want to do Ike and Titania because there was a comment uh, by Pablo once again, and I'm a little scared to, uh, because I they said only, a unit can only have five conversations, and that's a very small amount, that means you can only A rank one person with one other person, so I kinda wanna do Ike and Soren since they recommended Ike and Soren, it's being like a really good conversation, so we'll check out Mist and Rolf, that's the one I wanna do, and we'll skip to Tanya and Ike for now. We'll see what happens, uh, Rolf, oh there you are! Mist, were you looking for me? Yes, I've been meaning to talk to you. We haven't had a chance to talk since that day we fought for the first time. I'm glad you're safe, somehow we're both still alive. Yes, we've been so lucky. My heart was pounding and my hands were shaking so badly that I almost shot an arrow into Boyd's backside. <laughs> good thing you didn't or he would have had you, a, you would have given you a good smacking. Uh, I was so scared, I heard yelling, screaming, and the most awful howls of agony. I felt dizzy and sick. I wasn't scared at all. 
Maybe I was a little nervous, but by the end, I was almost hitting my targets. Actually, you, were, you critted a couple of them. Calm down, Rolf. You weren't even a little scared? No way. I can't wait for the next battle. I'll fight, I'll fight better next time. You'll see. I'll feather a horde of slobbering enemies. I'll see you later, Mist. I've got to go practice. Oh, Rolf. Rolf. Okay, it looks like she's in fear of falling behind maybe a little bit. Okay, well, I think that's it. Let's get into today's chapter. Leave base. What do we got going on here? We're going back to Crimea, that's right. There's Ike, with his regal sword. After his father's death uh, places the mantle of leadership on his young soldiers, or shoulders, Ike agrees to continue as Alencia's escort. Yeah, under King Caneus, or Caneus, or however it's pronounced. Benyon, oh my gosh, Benyon's huge! The company heads for the Benyon Empire. Oh, that's right, they're going to Benyon, I'm so stupid. The oldest and largest nation on the continent of Tellius. Okay. As Crimea is a former fifth fiefdom? What kind of kingdom is that? Of Benyon? The pro oh, it must be that Crimea must have branched off of Benyon. Okay. The princess turns to them for a sucker, much as a, sac a sacred child returns to a parent. Many in Tellius believe that without, without Benyon's influ might and influence, Crimea's reconstruction will be nigh impossible. However, Benyon and Gallia have no diplomatic ties and are further separated by an impassable mountain range. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, that must have been making trade stuff hard. Well, there's like a little valley in there. Uh, so the company is forced to return to Crimea, where they hope to locate a ship that will carry them to Benyon. Okay, that's what it was. I knew we were going to Crimea for some reason. That's right. Uh, so we take a boat, and yeah, we have to take a boat all the way around. Holy moly. Um, pregnant. Is that it? We didn't run into any pirates, really? Randolph? What's up with you? Accompanied by Randolph, the warrior who has volunteered to guide them, the company leaves Castle Gallia behind. With the heavy hearts and wounded spirits, they long or they begin the long march back to Crimea. Okay, we haven't actually gone there yet. Gotcha. Hey Ike, hold up a moment. You know, I was thinking, since the castle is on the way, we should probably stop by. Um, really? Why? Is there something special about this place? Why, yes, there is! This is Cantius Castle. Dayan seized it early on in the war. Now it serves as a camp for prisoners. I've heard there's even a number of Crimean retainers being held captive in the dungeon beneath the castle. What? Are you certain? Princess, I'm hurt. Of course my information is reliable. If we can rescue some Crimean soldiers, they might be able, or they might decide to join us. That would be quite a boon, would it not? Yes, it would. I think it's worth the risk. Okay. So this is what it meant by prison rescue. Oh, who's that? Uh, that looks like a soldier. They wouldn't have Shion and Gatchi captured here, would they? Oh. Mm, there seems to be a lot of prisoners here. Okay. Uh. It's kind of small. The question is now, how do you open these cells and free the prisoners? These cells are certain to be locked, so in order to open them, logic would dictate that the keys will be in the possession of the jailer. We've no choice but to steal them. If we're lucky, the guards will have or the, the guards will have keys as well. In either case, we must want we must move with caution. We don't want to trade blows with an entire castle garrison, uh, which means we must stay close to the walls and avoid being seen or heard. Right? All right then. Our first priority is to get our hands on the cell keys. Hey, you there? Uh oh. Uh, a thief? I have business with Sir Grail. Where is he? Um, <laughs> you're sorely lacking in social etiquette, aren't you? State your business. I'll speak with Sir Grail and Sir Grail alone. Now take me to him. What you ask is impossible. Commander Grail is dead. Well, that is a problem. Just a problem? Jeez. Poor Ike's just had to sit here and listen to this. Just who are you anyway? Call me Volk. Sir Grail hired me. I'm in intelligence. My father hired you? You are Sir Grail's son, correct? You'll do. Sir Grail hired me to investigate something. You pay my price and I'll give you my report. Deal? How much? Fifty thousand. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a lot. That's a quarter of what we just got. That's a bit steep, and worth every penny. I don't have that much. Give me some time. So you're willing to pay? My father hired you. He must have a good reason. Are you sure, Commander? We have no way if he's we have no way of knowing if he's telling the truth. We'll know when he, we see the contents of that report. Until then, let's have him travel with us. So that's your plan, eh? Listen, listen. You get the report when I get paid, and I'm not waiting around till then. That's a little cheap. I'll keep my information for the time being. Call me when you've got the gold. Stop, uh, stop into any tavern along your way, 
Tell the barkeep you've in need of a fireman. You'll see me within an hour. I see. Hold a moment. Uh... Intelligence. You said you were in intelligence, right? Is information the only thing you sell? Come out with it. What are you asking? Locks. Can you open locks? Sure. 50 gold per lock. 50 gold? That's actually pretty cheap. You're gonna have him open the cell doors? Is that wise? We've only just met him. There's no telling if we can trust him. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, uh... This is tough. Okay. Um... Whew. Seek advice? Who would I seek advice from? I feel like I want to hire him. Because Grail... I don't know. He, he knows who Grail is, and Grail... I trust Grail. But I'm going to seek advice real quick. What do the two of you think? Under the circumstances, I think trusting a man whom we know nothing about is dangerous. I am opposed to this. If we want to get those cells open, I think the risk is going to be inevitable. If we, don't have, if we don't have to steal keys, we can reduce that risk and improve our chances of rescuing the prisoners. It's worth a shot. Hmm. I think I'm gonna hire him. I think I am. Volk, will you help us break into these cells? As long as I got paid, I've got no complaint. Titania, objections? I told you before, didn't I? You're the commander. If you decide on a course of action, I will but follow. Okay, guess he's on our side now. Righto, I'm off. Good luck and all that. Wh wait You're not gonna help us here? Much as I would like to, I have a job to do. I'll rejoin you when I'm finished. Hmm, I see. Well, good luck to you then. Yes, and to you as well. Alright, there goes Randolph. Uh, okay. I'm gonna choose my- oh, let's check out the map real quick. So, I feel like I've done a chapter like this before, probably in- unfortunately I have to say it, but it was in- Ser Sephira Sephira Sephiroth? <laughs> From Final Fantasy? Um, I feel like I did one of these kind of in Revelations. Unfortunately, I have to mention that because I hated Revelations. But, um, yeah, you have to avoid these guys or else if you get caught, there's going to be a ton more. But it's going to be super hard to not get caught anyway because, well, I have to learn their patterns first. Brom, Kirian, Kirin, I think. Who are you? Nephany. Oh, I've heard of you before, too. You're the, uh, yeah, aren't you, like, supposed to be broken? Ooh, okay. Increases critical hit rain or critical hits. Nephany, okay. Um, you're the boss. Huh. Master Seal? Oh. We haven't got any Master Seals yet. Okay. Um This is gonna be I feel like this is gonna be a tough one, because the second we trigger these guys, I feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of problems. Okay. Um Maybe we get each one of these people on our side. I'd be cool with that. We get a knight back. Another mage. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick my units. I'll be right there. Okay, we can only bring nine into this one, which is a little... It's kind of a small amount, but we have Ike, Soren, Riss, Volk, Iliana, Il uh, Mia, Miss Rolf, and Mordecai. I'm leaving out these five, unfortunately. Um, I, I wanted to bring one of the beasts. I wanted to check out how Mordecai does. Boyd, I'm a little scared. He, I kind of want Boyd, honestly. But I really want to level up these two as well, because I feel like they're going to be really good as well. Riss, I need Riss to be here right now, because um, we need his heal and mend. Um, and I need these mages as well. Soren and Ileana are really good. Um, maybe I could swap out Mia? Do I need Mia? I don't know, but Mia's really good too. Um, I think I'll just go with this squad for now. Um, yeah, let's just go. Let's see how we do. Here we go. Um... Honestly, I wish I could swap out Ike. Ike's not doing too well. Okay. So we want to stay out of your range, right? Um, so the goal would just be to get you up here? I don't know. This is tough. I feel like the second we step into the range, we're going to get caught. And if we get caught, they're probably going to send in a thousand units after us. We're probably going to send in units from behind us as well. Um, okay, well, let's just... Let's advance carefully. How about that? We'll put you right here. Soren, go right there. Ileana, come behind. I, I am really scared this chapter. I I haven't done too many of these, like, stealth chapters. Stealth chapters are very weird in Fire Emblem. I've only done one of them before, but, like, I don't know. Just the idea of stealth chapters kind of scares me, especially with the mobility of infantry units in this game. Holy moly. All right, let's just wait. See how they move. You're going to go to the right. You're going to go to the right as well. You're going to come down. Other phase... Um, 
Sephiroth. Sef Sephiron? Sephiron. I'm going to call you Sephiron. Um, uh, tell me something, will you? What's going to happen to us? Those day in soldiers took my friends away and they never come back. And they didn't ever come back. What do they do to them? Oh, something bad happened. I just know it. Quiet, fool. Keep your cowardly mutterings to yourself. It matters not what vile torture they devise. A true knight of Crimea is bold, steadfast, and strong. I care not if they pull my nails with tongs or insert pins into the soft flesh on my underbelly or yank. Stop it! I can't bear torture. I'm not a professional soldier. I'm just part of the militia. I can't believe I left my family behind for this. Will I ever see them again? Oh, I want to go home. Curses. If only I had a weapon of some sort. Nephany? Help. We'll come. I will not give up. Uh, that's right. I think you're kind of a country girl, aren't you? So I should give you, like, an accent. Uh, but I also don't want to be insulting to people with accents because I suck at making accents. Uh, you are silent. Let's just let you go and see what happens. Door? Here we go. Um, I probably have to talk to you with Ike. Okay. We'll be able to do that next turn. Um, you're probably going to go up. So I don't want to move too far in. So what we should do is... That's actually tough. Anywhere this guy goes, this area around here is going to be... Ah, uh, that's tough. Okay, um... Stealth chapters are weird. I know the second, the second I get caught by one of these guys, boom. There's going to be reinforcements everywhere. I just know it. Uh, is it worth it, though? Should I go... Should I try and be stealthy? Or should I... Ah, uh, that's tough. That is tough. All right, let's just wait and see what happens. Yeah, he goes up. You're going to the right. You're going to the left. Okay. Um, let's talk to you with Ike. Maybe we can hide in here. I know. I also know if we try and attack these guys, we'll all, it will also trigger them. Uh, what? We haven't triggered them yet? Interesting. Um, maybe it's only if we attack? I don't know. Hold on. Let's just talk to you with Ike real quick. What's up? You there. We've come to rescue you. Ah, <laughs> you're not a soldier, are you? Your clothing gives you away. I am a pilgrim. My name is Sephiron. You're a monk? Why would they imprison you? I was arrested in a nearby village where I was tending to wounded Crimean knights. I received no trial, but have nevertheless been kept prisoner in this place ever since. I see, that explains it. We've come here to li liberate the prisoners of war. You should take this opportunity to escape. You will set me free? That is most gracious of you. I if you've no objection, I would ask your name. I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Please leave the cell door open. You should, uh, please, the cell door is open. You should leave while you can. Thank you. Perhaps we will meet again, Ike. Uh, okay. What? Bah! <laughs> okay. Um. Should we... He's gonna move over to the left, so should we hide? Um. No, let's see. He's gonna move to right here, right? That means he'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So no matter what, we're gonna get caught. Um, but let's just, let's just, let's just pretend to, like, walk away, see what'll happen. Um, I don't know, stealth. This, this seems, like, very hard to even get past. How would we even get past? Because if we go here, he's gonna step right here and be able to see us. I don't think there's even a chance that we can pass the stealth mission. No, I don't think, unless he goes up and to the right, there's no way. Because I think he's gonna go left. Leaving us nowhere to go. Okay, let's just... Let's just wait and see what happens. I think he's gonna go left. That means the stealth is impossible. Yeah, there's no way. Um, interesting that we haven't been caught. Um, that's very odd. Uh, this is strange. Um, he didn't catch Ike. And he has a movement of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we weren't in his range. That's why we weren't caught, but now I'm confused. I'm really confused. Hold on, I'm gonna do one more test. I'll do one more test and see. All right, let's see what happens now. Um. Uh huh. Why? Mordecai is transforming. Okay, I really don't understand. Uh. He just ignored that the fact that the cell door was open. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. What if we step in his range? No, he knows we're here. What the heck? Um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait one more turn. One more. See what happens. 
L look out! We're under attack! Okay. Commander da Danomil, Danomil, the castle defenses have been breached. What are your orders, sir? What fortunate timing. We were starting to run low on prisoners. Do try to capture them alive. I won't have you robbing me of any of my fun. Oh, he likes torturing people. Jeez. As you command, sir. Okay. Yep, here we go. This is what I was expecting. That's also what I was expecting. Okay. Uh, any more? We've been spotted. There's nothing left to do but to fight. Okay, I... I genuinely don't know. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. He has a lot of HP. That's good. Um. Okay, that's a little unfortunate that we were caught. Oh, they can attack this turn? What the heck is that? I have to restart the chapter now. What the heck? That's stupid. Why can they attack this turn? Um. Hold on a second. We're not. We're dead. Ileana's not fast. She's not fast. She's gonna die. Uh, she's dead. She's getting doubled. Yeah. What the heck was that? They can attack the same turn they appear? Ah, oh, I hate those types of reinforcements when they can attack the same turn they appear. Okay, well now I know that's... Now I know. Now I know. See, that's the thing. You don't know. Ugh. We were in range of the guy earlier, so why the heck didn't he attack him and call... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, viewers, I'm back, and I thought of a cheap strategy to use, and that's to just... Sit in a cell and defend out. Okay, so yeah, we already we already saw this. Boom, and now we're safe. We're all good, and Mordecai's here. I wanted to check out Mordecai. Can he attack when he's in human form? He can't. He can only attack when he's in beast form? Really? Is that how it works? Ooh. Okay. Um, that's not really reliable at all. How the heck are we supposed to... I mean, he's tanky, though. That's a good thing. Um, what the? Okay, you scared me for a second. I thought you were able to attack. Okay. Um, okay, so now he transformed to a beast. Okay. And I see there's like stones remain, allow him to remain in animal form. Okay. How do we keep that? Um, whoa. His stats go up when he turns into his tiger form. <gasps> That's so cool. His strength is enormously. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. 22, zero damage. Let's see him go in. Oh my gosh! Mordecai! Mordecai! Oh my gosh! No damage. Look at him, he's broken! Oh my god, is he an advanced unit? Is he technically a, an advanced unit right now? Because his stats make me say, make me think he's an advanced unit. Um, I don't know. Let's have... Uh, Rolf, hold on. There's an archer down here. Okay, you can only attack Mordecai. No javelins. Okay, so let's have Rolf go down, see if we can finish him off. He can't, but he can next turn. Um, the second we get rid of the uh, the archer, we can have other people start coming down too. Um, we can deal with these guys. Because honestly, I'm gonna have to probably just play cheap a little bit, because this chapter is kind of scary. Especially with no tanks or any Oh, you have a javelin, okay. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, no, okay. I was just very confused there for a second. Gotcha. All right, we're all good. We're all good. Look at look at that. That looks so cool. Mordecai looks so cool. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen them in their animal form, like, on the field. Okay, there's mages here, too. I know they're weak to magic, so we got to be careful there. Um, You won't do any damage to Mordecai, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, none of these guys are going to be doing any damage to Mordecai. However, I'm only scared of that one mage. The mage is what scares me out of all these guys. Okay. Mordecai, we know he can't double. Even though he's kind of fast, he can't double. I think Leth could have been able to double. Is he critting? He roars before he crits. That's so cool. Look at the fur on his back. Oh my gosh. He still has his, like, like, I don't know what to call it. The ropes around, like, the, I don't know what to call it. The bandages. He's got bandages on his arms. Or his, on his... I don't even know what to call them. His front paws. <laughs> I guess that's what we can call them. He looks so cool, though. I've never seen... I don't know. The beast units, like, in the uh, Awakening and Fates, never... I never really... I don't know. Never really uh, liked them that much. Okay. Um, can we hit the archer? Of course we can't. I really wish we could hit through walls. Um, but obviously that's not going to be the case. Mordecai... What's your, what's your res? Seven. 
And you do have fire, so that's that's effective against beasts. And let's just let's just say that it does double damage. So that means it'll he'll have 18 magic. So he'll be doing like 11 damage to Mordecai. I that's just I, I don't know if he will. That's just what I'm saying. Um, your speed is uh your speed. We're fine. You won't double anybody. Yeah, you will not double anyone. I think we can freely put down um. Iliana, here we go, because she's still kind of underleveled, but her, I checked out her growths as well to see if she was any better than Soren. Soren seems to be much better than her, because um, her speed growth is awful, so I think her, like, magic was a little bit higher than Soren's, but her speed growth is not that good, and watch, as I say that, she's getting speed, yep, <laughs> as I say that, she's getting speed, um, which I'm all for, by the way, but it's just, like, her speed sucks, so, like, why would you bother, uh, using her all the time. Okay, I don't... We told this guy to escape. Holy moly! Okay, he's an advanced... Oh, because he's a bishop. Look at his stats. Wow. It just it just feels weird to seeing those high stats on the field. Speaking of high stats, what about you guys? Okay, yo, you're just a knight, and you're an axe knight. Okay, if I get you on my squad, I don't see all... I don't see myself using you anytime soon. <laughs> okay, um... Let's just keep Mordecai right here. I wonder if Physic in the, is in this game. Is Physic in this game? If it is, that's broken, because we could totally just wall up. Um, well, Mordecai's doing a really good job. I wonder how long Beast Form lasts, though. Because when he's not in Beast Form, he's defenseless. I did not know that. Oh, he's doubling now? Mordecai, oh my gosh. Also, I wasn't keeping track of your EXP. Are you getting a lot or just a little? Okay. Uh, that's not a lot. You get about as much as a healer does for healing. Okay, this is what I was scared of. The mage. How much damage are you gonna do? What was? How much was that? That was eight. That's not. That's not too bad, but that is a little scary. Um. Unfortunately, he's gonna get attacked by a whole bunch of other people, though. So this could be really dangerous for Mordecai. Nice dodge. Um. He doubles these guys, right? Or no, he only doubles ones with steel lances. Okay. Um. So here's what I think we might be able to do. We might be able to... Uh, I gotta think about this. Okay. Um, we'd be putting someone in danger with this. Probably Riss, because he can take the Iron Bow. We already saw. But what I think I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna kill with Ileana. Kill the guy that uh, just recently attacked Mordecai. Mordecai can probably take this guy out. I can, I can almost guarantee that. Um, oh, unfortunately, he might... He's gonna get surrounded, though. That's the bad thing. But we can bring him back right after. Okay, let's do this. I think this is the only way we can uh, be safe and get rid of this mage. Is by actually attacking him with Mordecai. And then being able to heal him right after. But we don't even know if Mordecai can kill. I'm just assuming that he can. If he can't, that could be really bad news. Um, let's see. Claw. He can kill. Guaranteed. Let's do it. That way no one else will have two range. And I... Well, besides the archer. So... Actually, I might just... Uh, no. Is it better to heal Mordecai? He's taking no damage from anyone. So even if he crits, like, each person... Unless they have, like, a beast killer or something. Let's see. Uh, Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Iron... It's all Iron stuff, except for you. So... I don't think he'll be in any trouble whatsoever. Um... So should I just try and take out the Archer with, like, Soren? Uh... Ooh, if only. If only. Okay, no, we're gonna heal up Mordecai. We're gonna play it safe. Um, he'll, you'll go after Riss. We can move on back. Then Mordecai will probably run out of beast, beast time. Then we can swap somebody else out here. Who can we even swap? Ike, maybe? I just realized we don't even have a tank. Boyd is our HP tank. He's gone. Oscar is like a dodge, sort of. I don't know. He's like a, he's like a decent... He's like a mid-tank. He's not a good tank, but, like, he can do stuff. And I didn't even bring Titania, either. Titania's usually here to help us when, when we're in a pinch. But without with Titania, I don't know. We're only taking one damage. Mordecai could still be our tank. He could just not... I don't know. He just won't be able to counterattack. So, the beast form. I'm gonna have to look up how the beast form works. Is it... Is it that... Is it a certain amount of turns, or is it a certain amount of times they're attacked? Because I saw he had, like, five beast heads or something left. There's, like, a little meter, and it said five beast thing out of 20. So maybe, like, every 
every three turns he gains fives or, or loses five? I don't know. I'll have to see. And then that Lagoo Stone as well. That seems kind of broken. That stone. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to be researching all this. Um, so I don't die. <laughs> not, not researching to the point where, um, to the point where, uh, it gets kind of easy. I don't like, I like finding things out blind, but like, I got I feel like I need to know how the mechanics work for like units that I'm going to want on the battlefield. I don't want to look up like any special stuff, like, um, best way, best like setups to use for people or what units to use. Who's the most broken. I don't want to do that. I want to figure out that all on my own. Cause that's. That's the part of playing blind. I only want to look up, like, growths or something. Um, well, I guess growths, I don't know. I'm not so sure about. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't really explain it that well, but, like, I don't want to be cheap, is what I'm saying. If I don't know how the unit works, I should know how the unit works before I want to decide to use them or not. But I don't want to decide, like, who's good or, or who's not. Okay, so it looks like it's after a certain amount of attacks. Okay. Maybe a certain amount of turns and attacks? Okay, yeah, his defense is down now thanks that uh thanks to the uh beast mode being gone but there's only four units left so um ike what's your defense 10 versus mordecai's of 13 and you were doing a lot of damage you have attack of 19 you'll be doing 10 damage to ike uh yeah this is uh huh <sighs> this is kind of tough does anyone have any higher defense Nope, it's Ike. Ike's our second most powerful guy right now. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is... Uh, Mordecai can't do anything. Shove and smite? Uh... This costs HP? What? Oh no, I just add that HP. Oh no, I know smite moves them even farther. Um, I can't really do anything right now. This will turn me into the form, but I don't want to do that. Um... Oh, this is kind of rough. Okay, let's move Riss away. Man, I wish I could attack you. I wish. If I could attack through these, that'd be that'd be broken. That would be so broken. Um, I think I'm gonna go Soren. Oh, we can attack you as well. Um. Okay, let's go Wind on you. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll proc something like a third attack. Come on, Soren. You have two chances to proc a third attack. Get rid of this archer. If we can get rid of the archer, we can send everybody else down. Come on, Soren. Soren. You can do this. There it is. Yes, he procced it. That's what I was looking for, Soren. Only in certain occasions. Well, those certain occasions just so happen to be right now. There we go. And we can even heal him up with mist. There we go. Now, Mordecai. Now, we don't have to worry about a two-range person. Meaning that we'll leave Mordecai here for one more turn, and then we'll just go out and attack everybody else. Um, interesting that... Oh no, you guys already came down. Okay. Um, there's only these guys left? Interesting. They haven't gone in yet either. You're a halberdier. Okay. I gotta be careful of you, because you're an advanced unit. Um, Mordecai. Yeah, we're, we're gonna heal uh, Soren. That's right. Ileana, please move to the side. Um, and then heal up Soren. Okay. Um, okay, here's a quick question for everybody, now that we're just kind of... Now that we're kind of in a space that we can relax once again, um, I would like to have little conversations when the going doesn't get too tough. That's a good level up miss, there you go. Um, but if you were a Fire Emblem unit, just out of curiosity, two things. What, what kind of would be your stat distribution? And like, or I guess first question, what class do you think you would be? And then what stat distribution would you have? Like you can't make yourself broken, like don't be like a... Don't be like, uh, I want to be a dragon class where all my stats are maxed out. No, that's that's just kind of cheap. I mean, I guess if you really want to, you can pick that. But, like, um, just, it doesn't have to be just from this game. Just, like, think of any of the games. Um, like, it can be any of the games. Like, I know, like, some classes are only in certain things, like beast mode in this one. Um, there's ninjas and fates. Those haven't made a reappearance. Uh, Three Houses has, like, the war masters with the claws. Stuff like that. Um, I don't know, just like, what unit would you be, and then what would kind of be your stat distribution? So, mine, I think, I'm not really sure what I would be, it's kind of hard to say, um, but I think, oh, should we maybe move Mordecai back here, is that safe? I think we can take these guys out. I think we can. Yeah, I think we're okay to go in. Um, but I think if I were to be any, uh, fire emblem unit, I think I would be an archer. An archer... 
or maybe a mage? One of those two. I think Archer would be the first thing, because for one thing, I'm not a very strong person. I know that for sure. Um, and I'm not very, like, I'm not a very, I'm not physically, like, strong whatsoever. So, being, uh, being an Archer would be kind of fitting for me. Uh, my stat distribution, I would definitely be, uh, I would have probably decent attack, low, low magic, just how, how an Archer does. Um, I would have, hmm, actually this is kind of bad, uh, we should block off you and take out you if we can. Where's Ileana? Here we go. Um, I have to get up close and personal for that though. Uh, I might have just made a mistake here. Actually, no, we didn't. We're all good. I can just have Ike and someone else. Volk, maybe? Ugh. I might have just made a big mistake, actually. We can't really get out of here that well. Um. Oh, okay. Uh. Ike, you can live two attacks. I know that for sure. Let's see. Six, ten, we're fine. We'll wait there. And Mist can heal Riss. Um, yeah, I'd be an archer. My HP would probably be pretty decent as an archer. I would say pre pretty mid. Um, my strength stat, like I said, would be, be very, very mid tier. Um, probably pretty low. Uh, then this is this is my bases by the way my bases uh, my growth rates would be different um, I think my magic awful awful bases awful growths my skill stat would probably be pretty high to start with but would not would not have a very good uh, growth rate it'd probably be like 40 percent and then with the archer bonus it'd be like 50 so it'd actually be pretty decent but it'd be it'd be relatively low for archers because um, I'm not a very skillful person either I don't have many skills. Uh, my speed stat would be average as well. Um, I'm kind of... I can be fast if I, like, worked. Um, back when I ran track, I was actually decent. Uh, I was nowhere near good, but I was faster than um, probably, like, 50% of the people, I would think. Uh, I think I always, I always came in, like, fifth place out of, like, 12, so I think that's pretty decent. Um, right now, I'm not very speedy, though, but this is, like, if I were in my peak form or whatever. Uh, then luck stat. My luck stat would be... I think my luck stat would be pretty high. I tend to be a pretty lucky person. Um, and I'm not just saying that just because, like, oh, I got a PS4 for free because I fixed it or whatever. Um, I tend to be a pretty lucky person. However, my luck is really weird. My luck usually c oscillates. It, like, if some... If I get really good luck, I'm gonna have really bad luck uh, coming up here soon. Or whenever I have really good luck, a lot of the times it's in pointless scenarios. Like, I would have really good luck when it comes to, let's say, Mario Party or something. I would have insane luck when it comes to that. But, like, when it comes to something really important, I would have horrible luck. That's always how it works for me. Like, I'll have good luck in pointless scenarios. I have horrible luck in important scenarios. I don't know. Just something that I've noticed. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think let's just just go in with like kind of how my luck normally works. I don't really believe in luck. I'm just saying luck as a concept. That's kind of how it would work for me. Um, but uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, what's next after luck? Is it defense? My defense would be mid low. I'm not a very defensive person. If you hit me, I'm gonna stay down and I'm gonna cry and I'm gonna be like ah, I'm a very weak person. Uh, but my resistance, I think, oddly, would be pretty high. I'm actually pretty resistant to some things. Uh, I, I'm good in hot and cold weather pretty well. Um, I mean, I also uh, tend to wear longer clothes a lot. But um, I actually am pretty good in hot and cold scenarios. Like, a lot of people will be complaining about the heat, and I'll be doing just fine. I don't know if that accounts for resistance, necessarily. But, like, that's the only thing I can really base it off of, since Fire Emblem stats aren't really real, and there's no other way to really judge them. Maybe there's a better way to judge them, I don't know. But I think my res would be, um, pretty high, actually. So my only good, my two good stats, like, my highest growths and highest stats would be resistance and, uh, luck. And then my mid ones would be speed, attack, and, um, speed, attack... And then skill, I guess, thanks to the archer bonus. And then lastly, I think my relatively low stats would be uh, 
Like, I'm like mid-low. Mid-low would be attack and defense. Then my awful one would be um, magic. Uh, if I were an archer. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's also just considering uh, if I was to be, if I were to be an archer. If I were to be a mage, probably the it'd probably be the uh, pretty much the same thing except my skill would be much lower. It'd probably be like a thirty percent, and then um, my attack and my attack and magic would be swapped. So I'd be I'm pretty bad offensively, but like when it comes to hitting things or um, or doubling people, I'd probably be pretty decent at that. Wouldn't be as good as some people, like, as good as, like, a really good sword fighter. I would not be as good as that, but I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if I were to be in Fire Emblem Universe, I would die instantly. All my stats would be, like, zero, honestly. <laughs> I'd be, uh, what am I trying to think of? I'd be, like, the, uh, level one enemies that you fight. The terrors and echoes that have, like, a base stat total of, like, seven. <laughs> They have like six attack, zero luck, zero defense, one res, one speed. They have, they have like trash. That'd be me. That'd be me. I'd be those horrible stats. That I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I were to be at like peak, peak performance in a Fire Emblem universe, I think that's where I'd be. I would not be a good unit. <laughs> I would be a very, very. I wouldn't be the worst unit. I'm not like a. I'm not like a Jagan. <laughs> um, but. I could be, I would be usable, but I wouldn't be chosen over like anyone else probably. Um, I don't know. That's just how I feel like if I'd be a fire emblem unit. I don't even know where this conversation was going, but I kind of want to know if you were to be a fire emblem unit, what do you think? Don't just base it on like athletic ability. Base it on kind of just who you are as a person, I guess. Like if you tend to be uh, more of a thinker in scenarios rather than a doer. I don't even know what I'm trying to think of. Uh, no, that, that, that didn't come out right. Maybe like... Uh, do you tend to rush into things, or do you tend to think things over? If you think things over, maybe you'd want to be more magic-focused. Uh, I don't know. Or if you're, uh... If you, uh... Are, like, really athletic, maybe your strength would be really high, maybe your speed would be really high, your skill could be really high as well. But your re resistance, maybe not so much. I don't know. Or, like, your skill, um... Would be, like, decent. I don't know. I really don't know how to base these things off of stuff. Just, like, kind of... I don't know. It's just, like, a nice little consideration of what... You would be as a fire immune. I don't know. I like I like having this discussion, especially with some of my friends. Like, what would you do if you were um, a fire immune, or what would you do if you were like uh, I don't know? It, it, I'm kind of going off like Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Maybe like you can do that for your character in Dungeons and Dragons. I know some people when they play D and D, they like to base a character kind of off of their own personality traits, and some people just like to create a character completely separate from them. I know when I ever played, I haven't played it too much, but I played it a few times. I always was just a uh, I based my character off of Saber from Fire Emblem Echoes, and I would be nowhere. I'm nothing like Saber <laughs> at all. For one thing, I actually have both of my eyes. I know, surprising, right? I actually have two eyes, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I think Saber's a really cool character, so I just based my character off of Saber, and his name was the Fifth Sandwich. Yeah, isn't that a great name? <laughs> the Fifth Sandwich is my D and D character. Uh, my only one. I, I don't have any other characters. I've been I've been looking at doing other ones but anyway getting off track um if you were to just be like maybe you were like a person in an rpg or something maybe not just a uh specifically fire emblem you could be like in a different one um you could just be like would you be a tank would you be a long range fighter i i always thought like if i were to be in an rpg i would like to uh have a mix if i can i would like to be a, both an archer and a mage if that is possible um, I would also like to be a lance unit. If I could you know, use, like, lances, arrows, and magic, that'd be, like, my go-to, um, my go-to setup. Okay, what's up, Braum, or whatever? You're a Crimean soldier, right? Come on, I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Seriously? I'm not dreaming again, am I? I'm a mercenary in the employ of Princess Alencia. I'll give you the, all the details later. For now, we have to move. What? The princess? Oh, happy day! Wait, let me stretch a bit. Ooh, sorry, I'm stiff from on this hard floor. Ow, 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 hurry up, hurry up. Oh, for the love of... Come on, this way. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay, I like Braum. Oh, hold on a second. I don't remember the king having any children. There's no time to explain. Hurry up. Uh, oh, c -c coming. <laughs> we can direct them, right. Okay, um... Just avoid. Avoid. Take evasive actions and avoid the enemy. Okay, we can, uh... I, we couldn't direct you, though. That's odd. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. Okay. Um, you guys are probably stationary. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I really want to get these treasures. 
There's also a treasure chest over here. So we got to send Volk up here. Then we can talk to Nephany. We have a few more turns. We have a few more turns to just kind of stall out. Um, Mordecai's going to run out of his beast farm real soon. Hopefully these guys will go for him then. Uh, maybe not you. I feel like you might be stationary. What is this? Is this where we need to escape to? Yeah, clear escape. So we don't even have to go for these guys, actually. But if we want what's in these chests, which I do, we have to go after them. Um, whoa, 17 defense and 10 res. That's tough. He'll never double anyone, but he is scary. Um, he has an attack speed of nine as well, so he could he could double some of us. Yeah, he could. Okay, you know what? Let's just wait, see what happens. We could have Mordecai and the others. Why? I said avoid. Why are you going out of your cell? Stay in your cell. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this kid. Uh, your name was oh, what? Kyrian? Why can't I talk to you? Don't tell me this is... Don't tell me this is Marsha's brother. No, don't you dare tell me it's Marsha's brother. And I had to bring Marsha with me, or Marcia. No, don't... Oh, if that's it, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my gosh, is it? Is this... <sighs> Hold on. I wish I could, like, see where they came from. Ah. Uh... Dang it. I think that's her br I think that's her brother. That makes me mad. I needed to bring her. How the heck was I supposed to know that? Oh, come on. I don't want to do this whole chapter again. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to look this up. I'm sorry. I have to. Okay, from the looks of things, it sounds like we're okay. It sounds like we are. I don't know for sure. But I don't think... It look it's it they said we need to talk to him with Oscar. But it would just make him become a partner, not actually a... Uh... Not actually someone who we recruit. So I think we might be okay. I'm hoping we will be. Um, these guys did not come down. So they must be stationary. Interesting. Um, can I bait them just a little bit more? Maybe like right here? If they are, I know you guys are stationary now. And I can send in like the rest of my group. Um, and then after that, I will just wait, I think. Let's put like Mia here. So maybe maybe you'll decide to come down and attack her. Because you have a javelin. You, you can do some damage to her. But she might dodge as well. So... Um, let's get ready for an onslaught, potentially, and then we gotta make Ike go rescue Nephany. Um, yeah, I don't know why, what, I said avoid, okay? Oh, shoot, okay, you are not stationary, the archer wasn't. Okay, Mordecai, after this, unfortunately, he's gonna turn back into a regular, uh, Laguz, or human form Laguz, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, there he goes. Okay, so it looks like only the archers are not stationary. That's good. I'm totally fine with that. Um... Let's move up, Ike. We gotta talk to Nephany here. Uh, Volk, you go over and get that chest. It's gonna be really nice that these guys are stationary, though, because if that's the case, um, I can just slip past, and after I beat the archers, which I should watch out for you, um, after I beat the archers, we are safe to uh, kind of just do whatever we want. So Mia, Mia and, let's see. Uh, yeah, we can only do 10 damage to, can we do 15? With Ileana? No. What about plus Rolf? I think plus Rolf we can defeat these guys. So Mia goes first. We can do... Rolf does need the EXP the most. So I'll go Rolf, Ileana, then... Um, or no, sorry. I'll go Mia, Ileana, then Rolf. Those three should be able to take this one archer out. Oh my goodness. It's so weird having to like do so many... Uh, do so many people to attack. Wow. Wow, she takes a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. I mean, she does. Uh, this archer does have a steel bow. Her defense is not great at all. Oh my goodness. She can only take one hit, and then she's out for the count. I mean, that's kind of how mages work. <laughs> but, you know, it's still kind of scary. So, Rolf... I'm just assuming he can kill. Oh my goodness. Story of my life right there. Okay. Um, I think we're okay, though. Hold on, what? We're at 24... I think we're okay. He'll probably go after Mordecai or Mia. Because, well, he also... No, he'll go after Riss, for sure. He's going to go after Riss. So let's get Soren up here. I can't I can't actually see. I'd like to be able to see. Thank you very much. Um, man, that's annoying. Really? <laughs> we're one off from being able to hit? Or being able to kill? 
That is kind of annoying. Okay, missed. You wait right there. We can talk to Nephity next turn. Archers aren't going to be a problem, hopefully. What do we got? Yeah, you're going for Riss, but we can kill you next turn. That was annoying. That was kind of dumb. <laughs> Rolf was one hit away from being able to kill. Ugh. That kind of sucks. Okay. Is the other archer going to come in? No, I didn't think so. Um, we have to be careful baiting this other archer as well, because um, if we step in the range of you two, because we get hit here, here, and here, so he'll end up being over here. And I haven't even checked if... Oh, this guy might not even be stationary. Oh my goodness. I just assumed that he was. Okay, um... Ugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for Mordecai to go into beast form then. If that's the case, I do not wanna... I do not wanna mess with this guy unless we have Mordecai in beast form. He's the only one who can contest with him, I think. So we'll have Mia take this kill. Unfortunately. If we get a dancer... I wonder if there's a dancer in this game. If there's a dancer... Isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's a dancer in this game. If there is, um... That'd be really good. That way I can, uh... That way I can, like, get my lower level people to attack twice. Okay, here we go. Nephany, uh, you're a Crimean soldier, right? I've opened your cell. Let's get out of here. Who are you? Uh, I'm Ike. I'm with the mercenary company hired by Princess Crimea. I can fill you in on the details later. For the time being, you'll just have to trust me. Very well. Okay, um, direct, avoid. <laughs> Take evasive actions. Yep, there we go. Just want to make sure everyone's avoiding the enemy. And... This is so nice. I swear, having Volk, I'm so glad I hired him. Um, is there anything bad to hiring? Okay, you guys are hiding in the cell. Good. Um, is there any bad thing from helping or from hiring him? I wonder. What if we just didn't hire him? Why wouldn't we? Why would we not? Maybe we would get something. Uh, what was that? Statue frag? Magic item increases the user's build. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, Oh, Mordecai, 12. It looks like it goes up by 3 each turn. Am I correct there? Hold on, 12 goes to... Maybe it goes up by 4. Uh, okay, enough. Is it... It does go up by 4. Okay, so next turn he'll be in beast form. Gotcha. So, let's... Um... Steel Blade. He won't double. I'll wait. Yeah, let's wait one more turn. And then... Mordecai turns into beast form, then we send him in. What? He didn't turn into beast form? Okay, there he goes. I was like, what? Okay, I don't know why it happens after... Oh, no, I'm just stupid. Okay, let's do this, Mordecai. I'm gonna need you here. We're gonna need Soren as well. Soren, Mordecai, and this big old Danimil, dude. Danimals. He's literally Danimals. Um, this could be really bad. Okay, just keep going. We're good. What do we have? Ah, uh, the archer. I forgot about the archer as well. Okay. Soldier. Mordecai's doing fine. I'm not worried about him at all. Can we... How much damage is this guy gonna do, though? I'm scared of this guy only. This is the only guy I'm scared of. Danimil. Danimals. Oh, dear heavens. Look at the size of this one. Easy now. Don't move. I'll not let such a trophy escape. Your soul is twisted. It saddens me. Aw, oh, Mordecai. <laughs> this guy is... Oh, he does a lot of damage to Mordecai. Mordecai does good damage to him, too, though. But we can't double him. Okay. Uh, Steel Blade, too. I wasn't even... I didn't even notice it was a blade. Okay. Um... Oh, uh... He could probably one-shot any of us. Let's see. Oh, my gosh! We do nothing to this guy! Mordecai's the only one who can even contest him. Okay, we have to run. We just have to run. Mordecai, you wait right there. Um, the archer. The archer's gonna be annoying, but we're okay. Let's wait right at, right. Let's, let's all hide in this cell along with everybody else. Um, did we get this chest? We did. We're all good. I'm only scared of freaking Danimal's cup. Uh, good old, uh, what are the names? Dylan and Cole Sprouse. I swear, they're coming for me. They're coming for me right now. He's right there. They are right there. That is them. That is Dylan and Cole Sprouse right there. They're coming for me. Okay, Danimals. Come at me. Mordecai's literally the only one who can even contest him. That's scary. Okay, the archer, Soren. That's fine. Soren can live. Come on, Soren. Show him what you're made of. Dodge. You're an idiot, Soren. I hate you. <laughs> can you double him? 
Can you triple him? Really? He's got a steel bow, though. Okay. Guess he's a little bit faster than I thought. Okay, Mordecai. Uh, jeez. I even want to see if Ike can go in on this guy, but he'll do no damage. Soren will probably do nothing to him either. One more attack from Mordecai ought to do the trick. I'm so glad I, got, I brought Mordecai. Oh my goodness. Without Mordecai, we could not take this guy out. Even Titania might not have been able to. Oh my goodness. Okay, um... Let's see. Claw will kill you. Um... Look at that. Three damage. That's pathetic. That is so pathetic. Okay, Soren needs to run. Um... You do 28 damage to whoever you attack. So you'll do 18 damage to Ike. I really want Ike to go... No, you'll do 19, thanks to the weapon triangle bonus. Um... I really know what Ike will say, but honestly, I don't think we have that. I don't think we have that luxury. I don't think we do. Um... Man, this is scary. This is scary. Um... Plus, Mordecai will probably run out of beast form as well. I think we just have to take him out. Unfortunately, we won't get to see what Ike says. We just have to take out this threat. He is too scary to keep around. Too scary. Good riddance. Oh, you'll not escape. I will see all of you dead. You will be executed. Okay, yeah, get out of here, dude. That was scary. Mordecai was the only one. The only other way we could have done this is by somehow healing Ike and then keeping him there and also, um, yeah, healing Ike and also being able to keep him there, blocking his attacks, and then using Soren over and over and over again. That's the only way we could have taken him out. Um... Dang it. Oh my goodness. We're just lacking in offensive power. Uh, Ike sure knows what that's about. Okay, can we do... We could do Ileana and Rolf. No, I won't. I won't. I don't want to risk it. Mordecai can tank it one more time. I'm sorry that you have to deal with all this, Mordecai. I'm just forcing this upon you. But you're just so good. He's so good. Something about Mordecai is he's just broken. I think it's just the beast form. His stats are so inflated that he's just broken. Have he seen, has he leveled up even? I think he leveled up once this chapter. Yeah, he did. He was level two when we started. Um, so I'm going to leave you right there. Ike, you can come up here, do some damage with that iron blade, iron sword. You do the same damage. Good, but go iron sword. Because iron swords are cheaper, and we can buy plenty of these things. And then this is probably enough to uh, give to Ileana, I think. I really want to give some to Rolf, honestly. I do. But he just doesn't have the offensive power. Oh, you know what we can We know what we can do. Ooh, that crit chance. I'm not going to take that risk. Not after we've come this far. Unfortunately, I cannot take that risk. I'll just go Ileana. Um, I really want to get some chip hits. If we get some, like, chip damage in with Rolf... He'll get some more, uh, he'll get more EXP after a while, but it's just scary with that crit chance. I was not going to take the chances with that. I would not. Okay, show me a good level, please. More more speed? Ooh. See, that's a me level up right there. That's, that's, that would be my level up. I get one level up every single, uh, every single time. Okay, um, or one stat bonus, not one level up. Okay, we're all good. Only three units left to deal with. We can escape. I think only Ike needs to escape. I think that is the case. Um, maybe not. We also have to get the treasures too. We can't forget that. We can't forget the treasures. It's the main reason why we even brought uh, good old uh, what's his name again? I already forgot. What's your name, Mr. Thief? Uh, okay, enough. I understand. Phases are cool. Volk, that's your name. Okay, you'll come right there. Should I go? Should I keep using Mordecai? These are knights, so I think I should. Rolf, you move in here. We'll heal with. Mist? Yeah, let's heal with Mist. If anything, we gotta get Mist up as well. She hasn't healed at all this chapter. Oh my goodness. We've only been using Riss as our healer right now. Um, Mia, you go in there too. Just to kind of chill. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a chest key. But no, we'll use we'll use Volk as much as we can. We'll save our chest keys. Our convoy is big enough to hold plenty of chest keys. Heal up Mordecai up to max. Then we'll go... Probably take out the right one first. Yeah, let's do the right one. Oh, that, you'll just you'll just kill him. Go in, Mordecai. Oh my gosh, Mordecai, doubles and kills. Holy moly, he's unstoppable. He's better than G Gatry the God. He is. Actually, is he? No, I think he is. Well, I don't know about that. Gatry the God is consistent. Uh, Mordecai is not. He has to rely on his uh, 
his fangs to be able to show up. Um, all right, let's see if we can maybe just whittle this one away with the, with Soren and the others. I think that's what we'll do. We'll see if we can use Soren to whittle away this one. Soren is level. Okay, I understand. There's so many phases. Oh my goodness. Soren's level 12. You're level 10. How much does Ileana do? Uh, no crit chance, and we do live, so we can keep healing with Mist. I think we're okay to do this, because you are stationary. We've already learned this. We have plenty of time to just keep zapping you over and over again. That javelin is scary, though. No crit chance, though. We're okay. We are O. We are A-OK. -okay. There we go. And we can take you out next turn. Um, Volk. Volkswagen, please. Get these chests, please. Counter? Ooh. I like me some counter. Okay. Um, ooh. Uh, yeah, heal up Ileana. We're okay. This is fine. Then all we have to do in the left is... Uh, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Ileana, take this one out. And there's gonna be only one left. And that's all that I need to know. And he's a halberdier, though, so he's kinda scared. Are you critting? You are critting. You are doing that. You look at that. She's ready. Just slowly moving those arms down. Soren does the same thing. I like the critting animations in this game. They're really cool. If they had critical quotes, oh, that'd be so cool. You know, actually, there's a... I think Mangs did a video on it. He's like the biggest fire on YouTube. I, I'm sure most of you know who he is. Uh, he actually did a video about uh, people, what the next rumor of, uh, there's like a rumor of like what the next remake would be, or like if the Echoes thing is a, is actually a series, not just a, not just specifically for Shadows of Valentia, um, what would be the next one? And honestly, the, uh, the rumor is that the next one would be, the next remake would be the Tellius series, which is, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, and honestly, that'd be very fitting, because I'm kind of glad that I'm playing the originals now. That way, um, if they are going to redo those games sometime in the future, I would already know, like, what's kind of coming. And honestly, I'd like to play the originals before I do the remakes first, considering these are really good games, and remakes would just do them even more justice. And, like, honestly, I've bar I'm barely into this game, and I'm already in love with it. I swear, I love it. Maybe just because I love Fire Emblem, maybe that's why. <laughs> um, okay, let's watch you... The Halberdier, 20 attack. So Ike will only take 11 damage from you with Weapon Triangle, right? 10 damage, okay. No, I guess Weapon Triangle doesn't equate to that. Should I keep Ike here? Short Spear, you don't have a lot of uh, uses of that. Um, Or could I go Ileana again? 17 damage. Um, I think this is actually worth. Let's do it. This guy is kind of scary. Look at him. Wow. He almost looks like a like a samurai kind of with a Yeah, look at him. He kind of looks like a almost like the samurai with like the robes and the I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, she's low, but we have Mist and Rolf here to heal her up. And we can slowly just whittle away with this guy. Um I well I would love to do this with Rolf, but honestly, Rolf probably doesn't do any damage to you. Halberd ears probably have a decent amount of defense. Yeah. Rolf, let's see how much damage would you even do? Probably like one if anything, two. But he got doubled. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. Um, Ileana can actually live, but if Rolf gets doubled, I'm not taking that risk. If we were using Rolf's bow, maybe, but we're not using Rolf's bow. That's a, that's, so it's a different story entirely. Um, we did make sure to get everything else. Yeah. I think we're okay. This chapter wasn't too hard. We just had to play it safe. Um, maybe it's because... I don't know. Oh, shoot. That's right. He gets healed. Maybe we should have Soren join in as well. Oh... No, let's just let's just stay how we are. Ugh, this is kind of annoying, though. Maybe, okay, how about this? I'll whittle him down off screen, and I'll be back in just a second, because it's going to take a little while. Oh, here we go. Never mind, no more grinding today. She's critting once again. She got a skill level up, too. So she's actually pretty good. There we go. Now we can escape with our new friends. Well, if they're even our new friends. There, no more enemy units. Ike, get up there. Let's get out of here. Order this unit. Just Ike? Time to get out of here. Uh, okay, there we go. It was just Ike. <laughs> I guess we could have done uh, multiple people. I've brought one of the Crimean soldiers here who was being held prisoner. Ahem. Uh, I'm sure you are unaware of this, but I am Princess Alencia. Oh, yes, quite right. I am Kieran. I served under General Jeffrey as the leader of Crimea's 5th platoon. My platoon had the honor of escorting you from the palace during Dayan's attack. Really? You were there when... 
I was! Lord Renning ordered my platoon to accompany General Jeffrey and serve as your escort. Our mission was to see you safely out of Crimea to Gallia's King, but we failed you, and when you were lost to us, I believe my worthless life was at its end. Yet, here you are, to think that I would be so blessed to see you again. Such emotion, I... the tears... Kieran, were there any others? Such terrific emotion, so... I, I beg your pardon? Did anyone other than yourself survive? Of course, though I was the only one unfortunate enough to suffer the misery of captivity. General Jeffrey and, his, and several of his soldiers fought off the day in attack. They were able to slip away. Even now they wait in Crimea, hoping for one last chance to strike a blow against Dayan. Jeffrey, he's alive? Ah, uh, how those words drive off the shadows across my heart. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for surviving. You are too kind, your highness. The opportunity to serve you again is the greatest reward I could have asked for. For as long as I draw breath, I will stand ready at your side. This I swear. There we go. Oh gosh, here's the other two. <laughs> All right. We all know where Kieran stands. How about you two? Will you recognize Princess Alencia as the rightful heir to the Crimean throne? Will you fight for her? Look here, my name's Brom, and this lass is Nephany. We're just simple country militiamen from the same territory. Now, we don't know much about nobles and stuff. Kings and queens don't matter much when you're working the fields. Of course, we don't know when we'll be in trouble if someone takes our fields away from us. So that's why we joined the militia. The King of Danes no friend of ours, and I hear he's doing terrible things too. Vile tortures with rusty nails and more. What's going to happen to my family? I left them all back home, and I'm so worried I can hardly see straight. If you defeat the King of Dayan, will the country return to the way it used to be? Is that what you're after? Uh, it is my hope. I may not be as powerful as my father, but I will never abandon Crimea. You sound like a lady who stands by her word. Looks like my choice is easy. Mine too. I'll fight in your name. I'll help you and yours, and we'll send those day in milksops packing. Thank you. Uh, I beg your pardon. Oh, you're. Uh. Oh, bless Saint. Master Seraphran, or Seraph Seferan, you live! Bra, Nephany, are either of you wounded? We're fine, but what about you? You were jailed for helping us. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope they didn't hurt you. There's nothing to fret about. Everyone is safe, and that's what matters. Oh, blessed one. Okay. Pardon me. May I have a moment? Yes. Oh, you're the man I met earlier. I owe you so much for freeing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to thank us. However, I am curious about your situation. Why were you aiding Crimean soldiers? Do you question my story? You're a monk on a pilgrimage as well as an ally of the Crimean resistance fighters. Under the circumstances, do you blame me? Tell me something, Ike. You came across a wounded person. Would you ignore his plight? Normally, no. I could not. But in times like these where it means risking one my own life, I don't know. It's tough to say. <laughs> You're quite honest. However, if actually faced with such a choice, a man such as yourself would not hesitate. If faced with an individual in pain, you would act insensi er, in insti instinctively. Instinctively, your body would not wait for the command. Who... who are you, really? You're so calm, so full of peace. I can't believe you're a simple monk. If you'll forgive me, I must be going. Fare thee well, young warrior. I'm certain that we will meet again. Okay. He seems kind of mysterious. Ike. Oh, hello, Volk. What do you want? I was thinking about traveling with you for a bit. I'll be in the general area, so if you need anything, you can call on me. I'll help you out. For a fee, of course. What did you say? Why would I do such a thing? In times of such as these, there must be uh, many parties that need intelligence. Well, you sparked my curiosity. And besides, no, we'll just have to leave it at that. That's not acceptable. Don't be so inflexible. It's not as if I'm joining your merry band or anything. This is strictly business. Oh, something just fell. And yet you... Titania. I believe this is a good opportunity. You will almost certainly have the need of this man's talents. He is a dubious character at best, but at least we know his motives. Everything begins and ends with gold. He'll be easy to control. Control? Soren, he's standing right there. I don't think he minds. What will it be, Ike? The decision's yours. I think we can let him come along. I trust him. Very well. You may do as you like. Excellent. Call me if you need anything. 
Ah, first a thief and then that monk. What an odd band of characters you've attracted. Randolph, have you finished your errands? <laughs> have you finished those errands? <laughs> All done, but about those two. Yes, they're both rather mysterious. Well, a monk seems like a decent enough fellow. Determining who is a friend and who is a foe is something I must be able to do, but it's just so hard. That's only because you don't have enough information to base your judgment on. All we can do now is press on. You're right. Ah, and a new chapter begins. Blood runs red. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, well, unfortunately, everybody, I am completely out of time, so thank you so much for watching. We'll see what the heck's going on with Randolph and the others in the next episode now that we're finally at the port. Okay, so I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.